hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hi thank you for stumbling upon my channel if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe down below and join the squad and the fam okay and if you are a returning subscriber hi girl how have you been you've been good yeah fantastic that's what i like to hear anyway guys so yes as you can see by the title spiritual sundays is back yeah yeah i know it's been long it's been forever i know i know i know okay but we are back okay we're back um yes it's been forever since i've done a spiritual sunday series i know season one ended back in what I can't even remember when it ended and um back in december yes so <laughs> series season one ended back in december of 2018 and it is august 2019 oops I know <laughs> it's been a long awaited wait, a long series. I've even done it longer than you know how TV shows take a break. Their maximum is like what three months, two months break before they bring the new season out. I took a whole almost a whole year before I bring my season two out. But <clears throat> it's you know, it was just uh <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> let's not dwell let's not think about why you know it's taking me like almost a whole year to get to season two but let's just look at the bright side that season two is here and it's gonna be big, bigger and it's gonna be greater it's gonna be more blessings upon blessings than ever before because you know god has got things to say and everything so yes um but yeah guys um it's back and i think so the last season my last season had um five episodes um yeah so because i can remember in the last episode i did four and five episodes together but this time so yeah five episodes so but i think this series we're going higher so we're gonna go yeah we're gonna go to episode we're gonna have six episodes guys by the way let me just stop right here because i know you guys are gonna be singing the finger a lot and you'll be thinking what's up what she done so i was at work <laughs> and i got my finger trapped in a door in a metal door and yeah long story short i just had to you know go to the hospital and get them to look at it to make sure nothing's like happened to my finger and everything was a deep cut but it's fine i'm fine got to charge everything is okay so i'm okay it's healing fine so yeah that's the story about it <clears throat> anyway guys so <coughs> i might be coughing a lot in this video because <sighs> working with kids yeah you get whatever bug is going around in that nursery just say it okay but there's so much greatness there's so much joy in working with kids because seeing them go through life is amazing anyway guys before i ramble along a different topic let's go back to what we're here for <coughs> so guys your girl had to go get some water because yeah Anyway guys, like I was saying, so in this new season, season two, I'm going to have six episodes. Last season we had five episodes, I believe, um, and that ended, like I said, in December. So this should run, this new season should run to around October, November time, um, according to the my plan and everything but you know the spirit of god you know can move and everything and i can you know the spirit might lead me to extend my sixth episode it might become eight it might become ten you don't know but as of now the plan is six episode anyway guys um that's 
everything I believe I wanted to mention before I go into the topic for today. So let's go into the topic for today. So the topic for today, guys, is obstacles are a blessing, okay? We might not see it, and definitely when we're going through it, we do not see that. Um, and we don't see how that can be turned into a blessing. But, you know, I'm here to encourage us and, you know, just show you the, and, you know, just talk to you guys about the reason the the reason why I believe obstacles are a blessing and why um you know why you know I believe in why God says obstacles are a blessing like it's in the word of God guys so I'm gonna be looking at my notes from here on my phone um so I'm gonna be going into my Bible app and as you guys know I use U Vision app um so yeah so like I was saying obstacles are a blessing and the main reason that I believe that obstacles are a blessing is taken from James 1 verse 2 to 4. That's James 1 verse 2 to 4, which says, I'm reading from the New King James Version, by the way, which says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of, that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have it perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. So this here tells me that when we go through different trials, different obstacles, different challenges, is a testing of our faith. And through that, it produces patience. And through that patience, it produces perfect works. Okay, so, you know, we have to go through these trials and obstacles and challenges so that we can mature in Christ. We can grow ourselves in Christ. We can grow our faith in Christ. We can grow our belief in Christ, you know, so that we can, you know, it says we're babies, okay? Once we're babies, right? And then we gradually grow, okay? When that's, that's the way of life. We're babies, we gradually require food. We need so many things to grow in life, okay? To get to a certain level, right? So we gotta realize that in the world, in the in in Christianity as well, we're growing. We're constantly growing. Okay, different different stages bring different growth. Okay, and what you need to realize is that so for us to grow and to mature in Christ, to mature in God, we need to go through obstacles. We need to go through challenges. We need to go through these trials. For us, for, for us to come out on the other side, for us to perfect our journey, for us to attain righteousness, for us to, you know, continue the good fight, okay? For us to grow, to mature. I think the key word is grow. For us to grow and to mature in Christ, you know? We can't remain on the same level forever. In life, we cannot remain at the same level forever. In Christianity, we cannot remain in the same level forever. We got to grow. We need to move higher and higher from glory to glory. And for us to do that, there are different trials, there are different obstacles, different challenges at different stages, okay? When you first become a child of God, you have different challenges. You have different obstacles that you got to overcome to get to the next step. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a work in progress, okay? You can't stay at the same level forever. you gotta, you got to have a vision, okay? And for you to fulfill the purpose that God has for your life, you need to go through those challenges, okay? If you don't go through them, in the future, you might not be able to overcome some certain things, okay? You might not be able... And, you know, when we go through trials and obstacles and challenges, it is not for our... Yes, it's for our benefit, but at the same time, it's also for the lives that you are going to go out there and save. It's going to be for the lives of the people that are going to see you and they're going to see the move of God in your life. So it's not just for us. It's for those that are going to see and for those that you're going to testify the goodness of God for in your life. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why i say obstacles trials challenges are a blessing i have come to that understanding trust me 
when I say I did not have this understanding, now I do. God has opened my eyes and I, I have seen it. I have seen that obstacles and challenges are a blessing. And you know, when I'm going through what, whatever it is that I'm going through, when I'm in that moment of obstacles, of challenges, of going through that stage in my life, do you know what I do? I pick up my Bible and I begin to praise God and I begin to worship his name because why? He is the only one that will get me through that obstacle and bring me out of the other side into the light. You get what I'm saying? So, yes. So, you know, you, that's why, that's why I say obstacles are a blessing. You know, it blesses our soul. It blesses us. It blesses those around us. You know, that's why you see everybody, they, you've got to testify to the goodness of God in your life, right? And for you to be able to do that, for people to be able to see that if to see you testify you got to go through some things for you to be able to testify you got to go through some things for you to come out and say god has done this in my life when i thought it was not possible when i thought i could not get to this stage god has taken me from here to here i was here now i am here and why did I get from here to here? Because of God. Because God took me to a journey. And I gradually went from hurdles to hurdles. But I came out on top. And I came into the light. And for you to be able to share that story, you got to go through obstacles. you got to go through challenges. You get what I'm saying? And guys, another reason why I say that obstacle challenges and trials are a blessing unto our life is taken from Romans 8 28 which says and we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose if we because we are called according to the purpose of God we everything we face in life is for the good because we love God, because we have chose to work this, to go on this journey. We have, we have chosen to go on this journey. We have chosen to be and stand by Christ and to work on this journey with Christ. Okay. And we know that because we have made this decision, right? We know that all things are going to work together for good. Okay. Every great man, every great woman in the Bible had a story, had obstacles, had challenges to go through. But one thing that they, one thing that was consistent was God. God kept them through those challenges. He showed up for them through those challenges. When the enemies, when the doubters came and said, no way are you gonna come through that challenges. No way are you gonna make it through. What did God do? God showed them that he is the God of, he is the Lord of Lord. He is the King of Kings, the King, the line of Judah. He showed up and he made a way where there was no way. That is why I say obstacles are a blessing, guys. Because no great man of God, no great woman of God, hey, do not have a story to tell. Do not have any challenges or any obstacles that they had to go through. We got to remember that God did not say that this journey will be trial-less. God did not say this journey will not come without obstacles. It will not come without challenges. But what he did say is it will be there and it will not let those trials and those obstacles overcome us, okay? It will not let them drown us. It will be there consistently. It will be there holding us. We might not see it. We might not see him at that particular time, but you know why? Because the enemies does not want us to feel God at that particular time. He want us to turn our back on God at that particular time. But what I'm trying to say here is once we remain constant, consistent in God, once we remain in, the, in Christ, we will get through whatever what the world, whatever the enemy throws at us, okay? Because God is there with us. Is literally holding us up. We might not 100% feel it. We might not see it. But God is there. Okay. He is there. And he will make a way where there is no way. Okay. And you know. There's been so many times. You know. Before. You know. Before I saw this. And God made, gave me this revelation. That obstacles 
are a blessing, you know. I back in like what 2015 and stuff like that and you know years back okay guys a few years back you know there's not even years back you know there's been challenges and obstacles there's been trials and everything but like i said the one thing that remained constant is god you know and what i've come to realize is when you are in this obstacles when you are going through trials or challenges you need that is when you need to go for you need to hold god the more that is when you need to go into his place and begin to cry out that god i believe in you and i trust that you are keeping me because if you do not do that you will drown okay you will literally drown okay because you are not remaining in the word of god and the only thing that can bring you out is the word of god the only thing that will give you the strength to come out is the word of god that is why when you are going through that particular challenges or particular problem at that time you got to hold firm you got to stay strong you that's why it says in the bible you got to meditate in the word of god day and night meditate in it every single day day because w once you don't do that once you do not do that you are allowing room for the enemy to come in and to change your perspective you are allowing the enemy to come in to begin to change the way you think to begin to bring so many doubts into your head for you to start questioning god which shouldn't be okay so that is why you need to also at the spot every single day connects with god have a time with god you know when i know it is not easy trust me i know it is not easy especially when you're going through that trial especially when you're going through that particular problem you it is not easy but you gotta make a way okay because god would not allow you to drown it would not allow you to be overcome by the plans of the enemy those two bible verses those two Bible verses, when you look at it, you need to study them. You need to study it and look deeper than what it is on the surface, okay? Dig deeper, okay? And see the true meaning of those two Bible verses, which is why it's brought me to this conclusion that no matter what the challenge is, no matter the obstacle, no matter the trial, no matter the problem, okay? I am an overcomer. I will overcome, okay? by the power that lives in me by the power of he that lives in me i will overcome whatsoever it is that gets thrown my way because god is with me 100 percent. he is walking alongside me whatsoever it is he is going to see me out of it whatsoever no matter how painful it is and i know trust me i know there's some trials some obstacles that are painful no no trial or obstacle are not painful they are painful but like I said, we gotta remain consistent. We gotta remain consistent in the word of God. We gotta hold, hold on tight. So guys, to conclude on this video, um, I'm just gonna share something that, you know, when I was when I was on this journey and you know, revealing like and God was revealing this revolution of obstacles are a blessing and it's not all about the breakthroughs. We can't just look at the breakthroughs. We've got to look at what we've learned through the obstacles, okay? Um, and this was back in April, okay? This was back in April that I went through this kind of journey and God made this revelation to me. And I kind of put my thoughts and my thinking down into what I kind of learned, okay? So this is the little thing that this, I'm just going to show you a little part of it. Um, and it says that, it says, with life comes many obstacles and breakthroughs life is not just about the breakthroughs you gotta experience the obstacles to cross over to the other side which is why we gotta stay focused on god and he and he will direct our path remember the word of god says lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path I think that just summarizes everything perfectly well that I have been saying. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledging and you shall direct our path. God will direct our path. Before we were born, God has already 
that God has already made a way for us. He's already made our path that we're going to that we're going to take in our earthly life. The path that we're going to walk along, he has already made a way. And the trials and the obstacles that he has already he has already seen them. You know, God has already seen them and he has gone ahead of them so that we can overcome them when we get to that time. But although, like I said, we might not see it, but we have already overcome it. Okay, God has already won that battle. He has already won the obstacle. He has already won the challenges. He has already won that pro problem. But we do not see it because we're going through it. But like I said, we got to stay focused and we need to realize that God is the author and the finisher of our lives. Okay, and he will not allow any bad thing any evil thing to come upon us okay so i hope you guys have been encouraged and you have been inspired to not always look at the negative of life to not always look at the negative but always look into the future as to what god it will do and what god is capable of although like us and like and i keep stressing we do not see it we do not feel it at those particular times but you yourself need to connect with god you need to remain focused so that you can see so that god can get you through that okay and i hope you have been encouraged you have been inspired to you know just connect with god and let god just move through you whatever the journey is whatever it might be let god just move you along according to his plan according to his will according to his purpose let him move you along as he see fits okay guys thank you so much guys for watching this video i have enjoyed making the first episode of spiritual sunday for season two yes yes <laughs> Right, thank you so much guys for watching this video. And if you haven't done so already, I don't know why you haven't done so, but if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. Go hit that subscribe button right now, okay? Um, and join the gang, join the squad, join the family, okay? And I shall see you in my next spiritual video. Bye, until next time.